When you look at birds, they're just so graceful, they're colourful, they're just capable of a lot of extraordinary things. My name is Leah Sang, I'm the Acting Collection Manager of Ornithology. We're about to see the Eastern Rosella, one of my favourite birds. I mean, to look at them, they're stunning. I mean, you look at just the sheer amount of colour that's on them. They're always such a pleasure to see. Why I love birds is that when you think about it, they do the most mundane things in very different ways. So when you watch them and they land and they walk around, lorikeets will bounce and get all excited. A king parrot will land and and they'll be really cautious and they're quite stately. They're, you know, they've got quite a different demeanour about them. Cockatoos, they'll just, you know, really announce their, their presence. <laughs> this is always impressive. This is one I showed. So this is Eclectus parrots. When scientists first saw these, you know, these two birds, which are in fact the same species, they thought they were different because they're so um, brightly coloured. This is a male. Mm, this is a nice one. This is a female. Another favourite bird of mine is the princess parrot. It's probably my favourite. I mean, it's always hard to pick, to pick fa like favourites, but this is a bird that's highly nomadic. There's a lot more to know about this bird because um, they're quite difficult to study because they're so nomadic, but because they're also found in the arid inland of Australia, so Northern Territory in Western Australia. This is the night parrot. It's a nocturnal parrot, uh, once thought to be extinct. It was rediscovered in 2013. So there's still a lot, a lot to find out about them, but it's good to know that they're still here. That's the main thing. This is the paradise parrot. It's the only species of parrot to go extinct on the Australian mainland since settlement. Uh, it was last seen in 1927. Some of the major threats to bird life in Australia are the feral cats, um, household cats to a certain extent. I know there are lots of responsible cat owners. The drought at the moment is, from what I believe, the worst that we've had in recorded history. There's also urbanisation, which lends itself towards window strikes, um, loss of habitat, um, loss of the native vegetation. Gee, um, I'm thinking possibly, well, I'm, I'm sort of hoping that maybe the rainbow lorikeet might take out the top spot. Yeah.